Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today is a video on a collaboration that I partake in, which is the Fab Four Crafting Tools. So we focus on dies, punches, embossing folders, and decorative masks, which is also known as um, stencils. Um, so this uh, collaboration is hosted by Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage and Stamp Girl Who Is Paige on YouTube. Um, in the description below, I will have all the links to the other people participating in this collaboration. So if you could go check out their channel, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, that would be awesome. And of course, do that for my channel as well. Um, so this week, I actually kept it really super simple. Um, I only used one of the four um, tools. And I'll show you which stamp sets I used as well. So I used uh, Party Puffins. This can be found in the annual catalog. I brought in Nature's Beauty because I wanted to add a little bit of background stamping so I brought in the dots from Nature's Beauty. Um, I also used um, some of my Stampin' Up! blends so I used my Balmy Blue Calypso Coral and So Saffron. And the tool that I used for this co collaboration I used a die and I used the Stitch Greenery die. This can be found in the annual catalog as well and it doesn't cut your cardstock all it does is a nice stitched background effect. So I use this on my card. Um, so I actually made three cards. Two of them I made the same and then one of them I just switched the colors up but it's probably hard to see on camera but you can see the stitched die in the background. And I needed birthday cards so I just made a couple of birthday cards with this cute little um, puffin. So I just kind of stamped the cake on, I used my hippo and lay, oh I used um, another set of dies too. Just let me grab those real quick. I used the hippo and friends dies and I used the largest die um, in the, the set up in this corner here. So yeah, oh I used two dies, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I stamped, I cut out the, the label in basic white, I stamped my cake, I stamped, colored, and fussy cut out my penguin, and then I just took a piece of cardstock, this one's Clips of Coral, this one's Balmy Blue, and I cut this at four by five and a quarter, and then I just ran it through my embossing machine, and look at the stitch up effect, like it's so pretty. And then um, for embellishments, um, I'll just show you what I used. I believe. Where did I put it? Anyway, I have a bunch of them in different colors, but I kind of use like an opal. But these are pearl pens. And the thing I like about the pearl pens is when they dry, they stay raised, which is kind of cool. And I haven't used these in like forever. Um, and I can't even remember where I got these. I might have got them from scrapbookpal.com maybe. But these are old. I've had these for a long time. But as you can see, like they're still pretty full. But they come in a whole whack of different colors. If That's if you can still even buy them. This is the Ice White. Kind of like a pearl, a pearl white. So that's what I use for my embellishments. And I like that they stay raised. So those are my cards for this week. Like I said, very simple. I just really needed to pump out some quick birthday cards. So I thought this background would make a nice background. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button. I'd love to have you follow me on YouTube. Um, all my Links will be in the description below so you can follow me on Facebook as well. I do a Facebook Live every Monday night, 6 p.m. Halifax time. All right, so have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye.